Good morning, guys. We are all so happy. You guys know last week we got an opportunity to get rid of our old boom, that old, nasty, well-used boom off the boat. That actually went to a really good home. Uh, there's a local sailor in town that said that he has many uses for it, so happy for him. And in return, we got to receive our brand new to us, Seldom Boom. We are so excited because not only did Schooner Creek have that on their inventory floor, but they were able to modify it for us and get it to us within a week. So we are so, so happy. But nobody is as happy as that captain behind me because that guy has been giving our new boom the googly eyes. He's been acting goofy. He's been going out there and just, I feel like he's whispering sweet nothings. I don't know. If I didn't know any better, I would be a little jealous. But she really is beautiful and we are so excited to get her installed. Teal's up there right now working on the gooseneck bracket, uh, trying to get that installed. And hopefully we have a couple days left of dry weather that we can get this baby slammed in there. I'm gonna go up there and see if I can help out with him as well. So stick around. And if you haven't watched our previous video, go check it out now, then watch this one. Well, this new gooseneck bracket is beefy. I love it. But it was not made for the profile of this mast. The back side of the gooseneck bracket is slightly different than this profile. So what I had to do is take a piece of cardboard and cut out the profile of the mast. Then I was able to take this bracket and draw the profile of the bracket. I could measure how much I needed to build it up. It was about eight millimeters or roughly a third of an inch. I took a piece of starboard lumber and just started shaping it in till I got that exact measurement. I took it from this right here. That gives me the shape of the spacer I needed to build. Pretty simple, just a lot of work shaping that in. But now this gooseneck fits flat to the mast and it's gonna go in nicely. Each one of these needs to be drilled and tapped into the mast. I did the four corners first, made sure this was exactly where it needs to be. Now I have eight holes left to get this secure. As I'm putting the bolts in, I'm using a thread lock and a lock washer. I don't want these to ever vibrate out, but it's going smooth so far and I'm happy with this. It's gonna be beefy. Our last gooseneck bracket was held on by six pop rivets. This one's held on by 12 quarter inch bolts tapped into the mast. Should be plenty strong. You know, I tried to make a pattern and drill all these in, but it was impossible to guess the angle so as I ended up putting the four corners on and now I could use the drill bit to guide me through to get the center point for each one of these bolts. For each one of these 12 connections, I'm using a thread sealant and a lock washer. I think that should do the trick. Boy, these thread in nice. You can feel it biting. I feel good about that, real good.
I planned something really special for my mom because it's Mother's Day! Emma is so cute. She kicked us off the boat. She's so subtle. So subtle. <laughs> Why don't you guys go walk compass? Anyway, she's a good kid. Pretty sweet. I want today to be super special because she's the best mom in the world. I want my mom to have the best Mother's Day ever, so I made her this card. I couldn't go out and get her some real cake and flowers because of the quarantine, so I made her this. Done. I hope she has the best Mother's Day ever. They'll be back from their walk any minute now, so gotta wait. This is right. Yeah, I think it might be this one. Wrong happy juice. Yeah, this is definitely the right one. I think it's them. No, it's not. Yes? It is. Yay! I feel so happy. Emma made me the best digital <laughs> Mother's Day card. Thanks. And she also put together a Salon Basic Quarantine Mother's Day Spa Package. Yes. So I'm very excited to get going on that. And we have rosé and some scones. Life's not too bad. I got a, I got a sweet kid here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Miss Gobin, I see you have selected the Quarantine Mother's Day package on Salon Basic. First up is wine tasting and brunch. Today's brunch includes smoked salmon and chive spread with crackers, fresh sliced orange wedges, followed by a meat and cheese platter with aged Vermont cheddar cheese. We also have a delicious Asian fusion quinoa salad and homemade scones with a raspberry compote. This is all paired with a crisp, sparkling rosé.
fog is burned off. It's a little breezy today, but it's a nice day. Gooseneck bracket is secured to the mast, so it's time to get this boom installed. Girls are gonna have to help me. I think it's gonna take all three of us to get this thing up there. It's not that it's heavy, it's just it's a little awkward. Might be a little heavy. Okay, we look straight up. Okay, now you grab the middle, Emma. Or help, Mommy, towards her in. More towards her. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Emma, this is the middle. <laughs> Tilt it up. Okay, bring it my way. Is it lining up? Yeah. There we go. it is. The boom, the new boom is on. We have quite a bit of hardware and lines to rig on it still. It just looks beautiful. Even the sun came out to say, Halo. <laughs> you are so lame. It's not lame. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> watching this week's episode of Onboard Lifestyle. We had an amazing week. Not only did we hit big strides getting our boom installed, which is awesome, but these guys treated me to a really special Mother's Day spa package. So. You're welcome. <laughs> I wanted to wish all you moms out there a belated happy Mother's Day. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps us out. Also, a huge thank you to our awesome patrons. We love you guys. Tune in next week to see another cool new video. See you then! Bye!